Hello everyone, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're returning. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing some Happy Meal that re I received and setting up my next month in my planner. So if you're interested in seeing this, please be sure to stay tuned. Okay, so before we do this, I'm going to read our um, card for the day. It says, the Lord gave you such amazing gifts. Make a list of what those are and explore how you can use them for his glory. I love that. And it's definitely something to keep in mind and to make sure that you are using your, you know, God-given gifts and talents to, yeah, definitely give him glory and to show your appreciation for receiving those things okay so disclaimer i am doing laundry so you may hear a dryer in the background and my neighbors are neighboring so you may hear them bouncing around but you know such is life um i actually have two packages here from sweet Kauai. i'm gonna put that to the side this one is the monthly subscription which if you are familiar, then you know I do get the journaling kit. And this will actually be the last one that I get probably for a while. I did go ahead and put the subscription, um, like I, I just canceled it because I have some other financial goals that I need to reach. Um, and then this is just one of those things that, although I love it, is not, uh, you know, it's not essential. So uh it's the theme for this is peppermint dreams and it is so cute peppermint everything like i love as much as i love the fall like the pumpkin spice i get super excited when starbucks does their peppermint so so cute i love the colors on this i love when she mixes like the pinks and this um I don't know, whatever this green color is. I really like that. So this is page four. Page five has like the deco. Six more deco. Seven, you have your deco stickers and some numbers and of course all your little icons. Page eight, oh, those are so cute. And I really like this font boxes your bigger boxes yeah i don't know what color this is but i really like it with the pink and the red all of your date headers and you get enough of these for four weeks and then you get your eight washi strips so i love this like i think it's so cute so if you were going to use this as like your weekly pages obviously you would have um, you know, two for each week. So it's like basically a month is what you get in these kits. Because my planner is small, I typically use them for my daily pages. So I have to be a little bit more creative with the washi. So I'm going to put this to the side because I'm actually going to decorate the monthly for December just so that it's ready when it's time. Okay, and then this is what I actually ordered. So here's the plastic sound. There's no really, really no way we can avoid this. <laughs> All right, but yeah, I did order a couple things on the last, uh, I think it was the last Freebie Friday. So I did get this super cute, another journaling kit. This is for 2025. So yeah, I just thought this was precious and it'll be perfect for the first week in January. But I assume that the next sub kit is probably going to be a New Year's thing. And since I knew I was going to cancel, I figured I should go ahead and get something for the new year just so I'm ready. Um, another washi card because I love these and I think they're so pretty. So pretty. Here is Kelly's freebie. And if you are interested in purchasing anything, definitely use the code Kelly, which is K-E-L-L-Y-E, -L -L -E, and then 10 
and that does save you on your order. So cute. And then we have this. Love it. And here's the October freebie. That is hilarious. It's like Connie dressed as a turkey. <laughs> I ghost people all year round and, and do, as they say. I thought these were super cute. So these will be for my new planners. I got three of them. Um, some deco stickers. Also for 2025. So I will be using these for some, um, you know, setups in the beginning. <laughs> yes. Whoa. Yes. So those are cute. Lord willing, I will be able to survive 2024. <laughs> um, I thought this was cute. It's just like a, um, I don't think they're sticky. No. So it's just like a notepad. I'm going to take it to school just to kind of keep track of to do's, but I just thought it was cute. And of course, you know, has the B theme. I love this. This is going to be my year. Gobble till you wobble. Oh, and I did get this large deco for Thanksgiving. So I'll be using this for that. And I picked up some of the mini tabs for my new planners. So I got two of them. And then last but not least, Again, sorry about the plastic. I got one of the newer sticker albums. So it comes with the full page and then you have some of the like half pages in the back. So definitely cannot have enough sticker storage and this will help me condense, you know, some of my other binders. So I really, I really like this, super cute. I do like the disc system because I like that, of course, that you can add to it and take away. So these obviously fit. Oh, and it's a side loading, so that's nice. So these obviously fit in this way. And then these, oh, they're also side loading. Did I get anything that's, well, let's see, I didn't really get any of the smaller stickers, but just for the visual. You can kind of see how those go in there. Um, but I didn't order any of the like half sheets, but I do have a bunch <laughs> of the little sheets. So anyway, that is it for Sweet Kawaii. Let me put all this to the side. And then last but not least, to add to my 2025 planner lineup, I did get this from Print Pression. If you are familiar with my channel, then you know that I, you know, I've bought, I've purchased a few things from Print Pression in the past. Um, Kane, who is the owner, he did recently close and then, you know, kind of came back rebranding himself. And um, so I definitely, I just, I love Kane. <laughs> I really, really do. Um, I have had the pleasure of meeting him and um you know speaking with him and things like that and i just i just yeah i adore him so he did send me this as a freebie which is so cute so it's another like zipper pouch you have your large pocket here two of the smaller pockets here and i love it i just think it's so pretty and again if you are familiar with me you know i am like a big texture like you know pattern kind of person when it comes to my bags so i love this like crop pattern and then, because I am obsessed with the B6 size, I did purchase this. So it's a beautiful, like, brown B6. And this is the rings, obviously. I love that you have, like, your card pockets here. There's another one. Here's one in the back. Another one back there. Then you have, like, the secretarial pocket. And then another one here massive rings so you can you know add additional pages or deco to this if you'd like it feels really really good um like to touch i did go on instagram today and saw that he did have a croc pattern which i was like dang i didn't see that <laughs> so if he ever decides to sell these because like this came as a bundle so if he ever decides to sell these as just individual covers, then I will probably go back and get that because I do love the croc in the, um, what's that, peacock pattern best. So it is a 20 or an undated 
2025 format planner. And again, this is the B6 size, which is a little bit bigger. Well, not necessarily taller, but like wider than my this planner but i'm assuming that's to accommodate for the ring holes obviously because this fits like perfectly in this space but then you have that extra space for the holes so the plan was <laughs> i didn't realize it was going to be so wide though but the plan was for this to be my on the go planner um this is this is so pretty i love that it's just blank um yeah so the plan was for this to be my on the go planner um so here's the weekly layout and then you have like a task list type page and then some blank ones and it just kind of you know continues from here so yeah the plan was for this to be my on the go planner but now i don't know because i'm like i don't know if i can um i don't know if i can make this fit <laughs> Like, I, I don't know if this would be very functional to carry around. I think I thought it was going to be closer to the size planner that I already have. Um, so I don't know. But I'm like, this doesn't necessarily work for what I would need it to work for at home either. So I don't know, you guys. I'm like really torn because I do like it. It's beautiful. The paper quality is like really nice. It's like really soft and pretty. Um, but it's just, it's like so big. <laughs> so I don't know. We're going to try it out, see how it works. Um, yeah, we're going to try it out and see how it works. And I might actually go ahead and just, you know, start using it in November. And then that way I know come January, like if this isn't going to work, then I can go ahead and come up with an alternate solution. So I think that's what I'll do. Like I'll just go ahead and start using this in January since it is undated. That means I can like start now. And then, yeah, I'll, you know, give it a good two month effort and um, for November and December. And then if it doesn't work, then, um, you know, I'll figure out what I'm gonna do for the upcoming year. So. I, that's it, but I think it is gorgeous. I do love the way that it feels. I love the texture of this book. Um, the color is beautiful to me. Um, you know, it's just this nice warm brown. Um, so yeah, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. No complaints. It's just wider than I had anticipated in my mind because I was thinking like this, which is easy to carry. And this, I'm like, whoo. <laughs> This is massive, which that was the reason why I didn't want to use the A5s because it causes me to have to carry a larger bag, whereas this one would fit even in like my regular, you know, purse size backpacks. So, anywho, we will see. But that is my haul. Very pleased with everything. So, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and set up December in my monthly since I knew that this was going to be a peppermint themed kit. Um, we'll just go ahead and get December done. So I hope you guys are doing well. My phone is ringing again. <laughs> um, I hope you guys are doing well. I uh, am filming this. It's actually on Sunday that I'm filming this. So where are my tweezers? So yeah, pre-filming just so that I can get it done. I'm making sure I'm still filming. Yes. Okay, great. Um, just so I can get it done and get moving on for the week. Um, but yeah, so let's see. I definitely want to use this. So cute. And I think I'm just going to kind of... Do I have any... You know that I don't have any like peppermint washi. But I wonder if I have some like Christmas like washi that I could use. Actually, something like that might be okay. I don't even think I have any like red washi. Hmm. I 
out of red. No red. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll just, so this, oh, sorry, my chair was on that plastic. This comes with washi, but I don't really want to use it. But I do want, you know, the washi element on my page. But yeah, I don't want to use the one that it comes with. Okay. Because I already know I'm going to want to use those in my daily pages. Come on. Okay. Ooh, that's good. Whatever. All right. Let's put this here. That is very crooked. Okay, so the cool and the cool thing too though about having the rings is you don't have to deal with this bump. Like <laughs> as you can see, now because my planner is has so many stickers and you know so many things, you don't have to deal with the hump. My on the go planner, because right now I'm just using my um A6 rings that I've had for like ever. And I've just been um, like just putting some, basically I've been doing just pen and like dot marker. So I haven't really, like I'll add a couple stickers here and there, but it has not been like a heavy sticker focus. So, which I've actually really been enjoying um, just because I feel like you know, sometimes us planner people <laughs> don't actually do anything in our planners until it's like decorated. And so because, you know, I really want that planner to be just literally on the go, quick, jot some notes down, write down the important things and keep moving. Uh, I decided to keep it pretty sticker free so that I don't get caught up in, well, it doesn't look good, so I'm not going to use it. Um which again, you know, something that is something that I definitely need to focus more on this year because, you know, it's not about what the planner looks like. It's about the function of it. And I have to like constantly remind myself that I'm going to put that there for Christmas. Um, because yeah, it's easy to get caught up in, you know, it's easy, it's very easy to get caught up in how it looks and not how it performs. Okay, so I love these. I should have put Can I get this off? Yes. We'll put this like down here. Um, I don't like when people say like, oh, my planners, it doesn't have stickers. So my planner is functional because I feel like any planner that helps you to either A, get from point A to point B, or, you know, in my case, like helps me with my budgeting or helps me. Uh, you know, write down scripture or whatever the function of the planner is. Any planner that you use that serves the purpose that you intended for it to, you know, serve to me is a functional planner. Like it doesn't have to be sticker free, <laughs> in my opinion, to be functional. It just has to be one that does whatever you intended for it to do. So if your intention for your planner is to, you know, help alleviate stress and anxiety, and it does that, then to me, your planner is functional. Um, if you have a planner and you literally only just put stickers in it because it's just the art of laying stickers 
you know, helps you, you just use icons or use it for memory keeping or, you know, whatever, then to me, it's functional. Like it serves the purpose that you intended for it to serve. So in my opinion, that's functional. So like, I don't get caught up on, you know, just because I like to decorate a planner that that now makes my planner just decorative and not functional because to me, it functions the way that I need it to. So uh, just throwing that out there because as the, you know, year, as we get closer to the new year, you're going to start hearing that language a lot more in the planner community because it happens like, you know, every new year, new planners come out, new, you know, new things surface, blah, blah, blah. And then it becomes this, to me, almost like a silent, to me, it's almost like a dig on, you know, decorative planners. Like if you use stickers that your planner is not functional and that's like, that's not true because, <laughs> you know, it, it serves the purpose that I want it to serve. So that in turn makes it functional. Um, but yeah, so that's just, like I said, that's something that you are going to start hearing if you have not already started hearing, because it's just, you know, to me, this great, just a great debate, a silent debate, nevertheless, because nobody actually like, you know, people aren't actually like fighting about it, but to me, it feels like whenever I hear someone saying it, and maybe that's just me taking it personally, but whenever I hear something, someone saying like, oh yeah, my planner is functional because I only use, you know, dots and, and pen <laughs> that I feel like, oh, so my, my planner is not functional because I use stickers. Like, uh, that's not true. Um, so yeah, but again, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm the only one that you know, takes it that way. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that's just the way it feels. So, anywho, that's cute. Um, I know I want to add like a few more things, but then also don't want to do too much because again I have to have space to write so if we can just kind of throw some of these in here and there and it will still give me plenty of room to write out what's happening for the month. I don't know why these little leaves are so cute to me. They're just leaves. <laughs> but they're so cute. All right. Okay, so there we have it. We're gonna stop here. And I will put in whatever needs to be put in. You guys, of course, will be seeing this kit again in the, you know, as we get closer to December when I'm doing my weekly pages. But yeah, I just wanted to get something out on paper so that it's not just, you know, a haul video again. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave me a comment. And definitely, if you made it this far, leave me a peppermint or some sort of like candy in the comment section below. That would be greatly appreciated. You guys are amazing. Stay tuned for additional planner content as well as my 2025 like planner lineup setup, all that jazz. Um, but yeah, you guys are amazing. Be safe, be kind, or be quiet and be well. And I'll catch you in the next one.